All right, we continue our series on making a Halloween animated pivot using Paint.net, uh, but you could use any uh, graphics program, and using Pivot. So in this case, we're using Paint.net. Today, we're going to talk about how do you get any image from the internet into Pivot, because you can add any image you want and animate it. So here's how you do it. Now, you can't necessarily animate it like you would your, your stick figure where you can move the parts, but for example, I'm going to add a ghost. I think it'd be really cool to have a ghost. So we're going to add a ghost to our animation. To do this, you're going to go to Google and you're going to type in, I'm going to type in high five ghost. Okay, high five ghost. And I'm going to go to images and I've got pictures. Now, you can also type in high five ghost PNG. These are images that are made to have a transparent background when they're added into a graphics design program. Okay, so I like this one. It looks like a good size. They're all, they're, they're, some are bigger, some are smaller. My animation itself uh, is, you know, 854 by 480. So a figure that's 162 by 157 is a good size for my animation, and I can always resize him. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, copy image. Now I'm going to go back, I'm going to use Alt Tab to slip over to uh, paint.net, and you can use Alt Tab to go through all of your tabs. And that's just, oops, I missed it. There it is. I'm going to go to File, New. And when I say New, it's going to actually make you, if you look at the size, it's exactly the size of the picture I just copied. So I'm going to say, OK, Control V, Paste. Now, I now have my image saved from the internet. I'm going to go File, Save As, and I'm going to save it as a PNG. And I'm just going to save it right now um, to my desktop, and I'm going to call it Hi5 Ghost Test 1, OK? All right, I'm going to say OK, and I'm going to go to Pivot Animator now. And you can do Alt-Tab to switch to that if you want. File, Load Sprite Image. It's called a Sprite Image. OK, and we're going to go to that. I'm going to go to my desktop. You should save it to your, if you're my student, to your H drive. If you're doing this at home, save it into a folder where you're working on your project for your animation. If you have a large project, I suggest creating a folder for each project and saving all of your assets your 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 projects into there now let's see is this high five ghosts no that's not the one high five ghost test one i'm going to open that up now there's my high five ghost test one you can see that it's it's kind of cool and look i can animate him and have him float around the screen there's my uh, high five ghost right so it's pretty cool um i don't like the little little leftover pixels that i'm seeing in the picture and i didn't see any of that in the picture so i'm going to go back to paint.net now, to clean this picture up, I'm going to use the magic wand. I'm going to click on the white. My tolerance is set to 50%, and the flood mode is set to contiguous, just in case that changes. You want to fix it. I'm going to click here. It looks like a very clean selection. I'm going to hit the delete key, not the backspace key, the delete key. If you hit the backspace key, it does this. It actually puts the color, whatever the top color is. In this case, it, I'll flip-flop it. I'll hit delete. Uh, oops, no, sorry, I'll hit backspace. It puts black, which is the, my primary color right now. If I hit the delete key, it actually deletes all the color. Then I'm going to make a new layer underneath, and I'm going to fill it with, I'm actually just going to fill it with white. Okay, this seems to work really well. I'm going to hit the enter key. Now I have two layers. Now I'm going to save it again. Save as, and I'm going to save it to the same place. I'm going to call it High 5 Ghost Test 2. I'm going to change my file type to a PNG, you can't see it. Sorry, let me move this uh, a little higher. Save it as a PNG. And then I'm going to call it test two. Save. And I'm going to just say OK and flatten. Now I'm going to go file. You already know what I'm going to say sprite image or control I if you're starting to use a lot of these. And I'm going to go to the high five ghost test two. I'm going to open that up. Now look at the difference between those two. This one just looks way cleaner, way better. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make these bigger. I'm going to highlight both of them, and I'm going to make them both much larger. I'm going to just type in 200. Look at the difference between these two. Now, they're both a little pixely because they're small images, but you don't have any of this mess around the picture. And, and that's with just a plain white background. I think you can actually do any solid color as long as that color isn't in the picture you're using. So now I want you to do this and I want you to choose an image you want to do. I'm just going to go back and pick another image. I'm going to put in, and this is where I just type something PNG. So I'm going to write um, cat PNG. How about black cat, right? Black cat PNG. 
And if I want it to move, let's see here. Hmm. How about this one here? It looks like he's kind of walking. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to right click, copy image. Now he's kind of large, 600 by 400. That's, that's bigger than my, um, that's, that's as big as my pivot screen. So when I go into paint.net, I'm going to do this first. I'm going to go file new. Okay. It's see it's 600 by 423. I'm going to say, okay, control V paste. Then I'm going to go to image resize. Right away, I'm going to just go ahead and resize this to a size I know I want it to be. So I'm going to say maintain aspect ratio so that it doesn't get squishy. And I'm going to take it down to, let's say, 200. Okay. Say, okay. That's a better size for a cat in my animation. And then I'm going to magic wand the white, hit delete. And then I'm going to make a new layer, put it on the bottom, and I'm going to fill that with white. There you go. And then I'm going to save it as a... PNG. You're right. Good job. Um, and I'm going to call this black cat. Always remembering to save in the same place, keeping track of your files. And I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to save it to my desktop, call it black cat, save. And it should look good when I go in here. File, load sprite. And I'm going to just type a B and it should jump to black. To anything with the file name B. Open. And there is my black cat. It's not perfect. Um, oh, now here's something I noticed. If you notice, the eyes are actually missing, and the eyes are white, and I put white around the body. So one way to fix that is to use a, either a different color around the cat or whatever your object is, or, um, or fill the eyes with like a slightly different color of white. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to undo Control-Z. I'm going to fill the background with green, like a green screen. Let's see how that works. Okay, now let's try saving it that way. File, save as, PNG. I'm going to call this black cat 2 and save. And I'm going to say OK and flatten. So flatten the picture down. Now let's come back in here. File, load sprite, press B, and I'm going to choose the one with the green background. Let's see if it worked. Yeah, see, now I've got the cat's eyes. There's a little bit of uh, stuff around it, but not so bad. And I'm going to shrink this cat anyway. I'm going to probably make it 50% of the size. And now I have a cat that I can animate. Meow. So there you go. There's how you can add some characters. Um, and you can add anything, which is really cool. You can add uh, ghosts, zombies, etc. And have fun making your spooky Halloween animation.